Hi, this is Heather Gooch, editor of Pest Management Professional Magazine. On October 2nd, BASF announced that it would divest its entire global vector insect flytrap business to APNG, which manufactures the Catchmaster brand. I'm here today with Jonathan Frisch, the Vice President of Sales and Marketing for APNG Catchmaster, to talk a little bit about the BASF deal, what's new for Catchmaster, and Jonathan's future outlook. Thank you so much, Jonathan, for taking some time out to, uh, to talk with us today. Um, Great to be here. <laughs> and congratulations on this, on this really big uh, addition to an already great lineup of Catchmaster products. Thank you. Exciting times at APNG Catchmaster. For sure. We just wanted to talk a little bit about um, how the deal came about. Um, you know, is it something that they approached you about or did you approach BASF? APNG has been interested in the ILT market uh, actually for decades. Um, we've been somewhat involved in it uh, really since the mid-90s with the introduction of you know, the Catchmaster 911. The 911 was always kind of like an entry unit, um, value-minded unit, works great, great uh, efficacy. Um, but for many years, we you know, batted around the idea of extend, extending the line, expanding the line of, um, of ILTs to really compete in the marketplace. Um, Vector took that place really quick in the early 2000s. And then a whole bunch of kind of Me Too's uh, followed the similar types of products uh, that were really doing the same thing as uh, particularly the Vector Plasma, which really dominated the market at that time. Um, and we continued to kind of make the decision that if, if we didn't have any real um, value to add, um, just to add, pile on to the already um, growing uh, list of Me Too products, uh, it didn't make a heck of a lot of sense. But um, we continue to express interest, and you know, that's one of the great things about being super plugged into the pest control industry with our great team out there, having so many contacts uh, in key positions, you know, having the pulse of the industry. People knew. The, the people that needed to know were well aware that there was a lot of interest on our part. Uh, and when BASF made the decision uh, to divest, um, we were on their short list. Excellent. And the rest is history. <laughs> Very uh, good. Very good. So this came just in time for Pest World, which is which is awesome. So it is. You know, certainly. Well, with these kinds of deals, you know, the end date is always kind of a little unknown. You know, you, you have a, a schedule and lots of discussions, and then there are speed bumps. And worldwide pandemic did not speed up the process I at can all. Imagine. You know, <laughs> the world turning upside down. Uh, did not help the process, um, but you know we we got through that. Um, certainly, the plan was to be well up and running by Pest World. That was the vision, right? Mm -hmm. To have either you know a separate booth or a big feature within our booth, and uh, you know a big splash of Pest World. Um, you know there is a Pest World, right? But it's certainly going to be very different this year. Than for sure. Now, I'm assuming, you know, since you bought it part and parcel, are there going to be any changes or do you think kind of don't fix what ain't broken, if you will? I mean, will the same facilities be manufacturing it in that or will you be bringing it? For us, this, this extension of, of the APNG brand uh, family yeah. uh, is a kind of a no-brainer, right? It fits really well within what we do. At, at the core, we're a glue board manufacturer. We've expanded that to a lot of other different types of mechanical devices and so on. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, to add a device like ILTs, a line of devices um, in this family that we manufacture the, the, the replacement glue boards for um, is, is a great fit. So ultimately, what's great about buying this existing, you know, premium brand, Vector brand that everybody knows and loves, um, you know, there's, there's the most natural part of this is keeping things as is, steady as she goes. Um, this is the product that everyone knows and loves. So we do not anticipate um, any changes, uh, certainly out of the gate. Um, uh, we do have a number of line extensions that we already have in the works. Our R&D team, even before you know the deal was closed, um, were, was already hard at work on 
some natural extensions to the line. Um, so that should be coming some possibly this upcoming uh, spring um, or possibly over the next year. When we're talking the line, we're talking the Plasma One, we're talking the 1080. Um, are there other models that I'm forgetting? There's three core items. Um, the three core items are Plasma, and there are a couple of different versions of that. Yes. Um, uh, there's the uh, Vector Plasma One, which is the single bolt version of it. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, of course, there's the Vector Classic, uh, which predates the, the Vector Plasma. It's a little bit of a larger unit. It has a bit of a cult following, <laughs> uh, so uh, it's 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 funny. I mean, the, the name classic actually works very well with it. It's um, it's kind of an old school type unit, um, but it does have certain features that none of the uh, existing units out there, Vector and others, have, including a, a stun feature, which is a, a low voltage grid um, that the insect. Um, comes in contact with and actually uh, stuns the insect and they fall down into the blue trap. So pivoting from the uh, the new line to just kind of catch master in general, uh, you no you noted to me that your employee count has doubled recently. Do you want to talk about that a little bit and some of the great growth going on? APG has been it's been a healthy company um, as long as I've been here and and going before that. Uh, but that healthy growth in the last few years, you know, a healthy, steady growth turned into some exponential growth for a whole host of reasons. Uh, but in general, I think that the industry overall is looking to um, just, you know, good, healthy IPM practices. So we're a big part of that, having multiple mechanical tools and so on. It's just been a, a busy couple of years. You know, our employee count, um, like you said, doubled. Um, we moved with about 100 employees. Uh, we're now actually a little over 200 employees in the last couple of years, most on the uh, production side and also in key positions, you know, within our management team and so on. The plan is in the next two years to increase our, um, our warehousing um, by about 50%. Let the, let the good times roll. This uh, vector um, acquisition yes. has definitely been a big part of that as well. You know, we have basically a new company coming on board and we're going to need more production and more warehousing space. It's just one, one key component of it. Well, it's good news to share in 2020. <laughs> this has certainly been an insane year for everybody. Uh, yeah. I mean... It's just crazy to even think about it. And unfortunately, we're still in it. The biggest challenge is the unknown. You know, right now, there's, there's so many unknowns. New York, where we're located in New Jersey, just over the river, we're very much in the New York metro area. Yes. As everyone knows, New York, New Jersey got hit insanely hard very early on when this thing was totally new. Yes. Um, and we had to react on the fly, you know, Everyone's going through this uh, pandemic literally worldwide um, uh, together in some way, shape, or form. Uh, very, very tough times. We had, um, we had two days of shutdown, and we were able to reopen with new safety protocols in place, um, sent the office uh, home and uh, doing remote uh, uh, daily check-in meetings with our leadership team. No question, scary times. Uh, and, you know, what's the future of, of the pest control industry? Nobody knows. It's one of the, <laughs> put that on the list of, I call it the, I call it the uh, shrug emoji, you know? Pest control is, is, I think, as good an industry as you can be in during these crazy times. The country is recovering. The country is learning to deal with it. And even if it's not quite over yet, um, it's turned the corner in the sense that, unfortunately, you know, we have a much better handle on how to deal. So uh, I, I think we'll continue to see uh, things reopen, whether it's the hotel industry, which was hit very hard, obviously overall hospitality, restaurants and so on. Even here in New York, we're seeing uh, restaurants uh, opening now. So that'll continue. And these are things that impact the pest control industry pretty hard. Uh, but I think um, we're seeing a recovery and, um, you know, we'll continue to, to see that. Thanks so much, Jonathan. We appreciate you taking the time to chat today. Now, more information about the Catchmaster deal with BASF can be found at mypmp.net.
And more product information can be found at catchmasterpro.com. Everyone, that was Jonathan Frisch, the Vice President of Sales and Marketing for APNG Catchmaster. I'm Heather Gooch, editor of Pest Management Professional Magazine. Thanks for watching. <music>